today I got something at the shops and it's something I've been meaning to get but I've been putting off because I do a lot of my shopping online now because my local store doesn't have a lot of the big sets so farm world dog kennel now this is 15 pounds but that's okay I think it was I think the chicken coop on my Christmas video was 15 pounds so I have no problem paying this the main feature I've been looking forward to is the simple the dog has a lead the dog actually has a lead which is something once again like I don't believe has done especially for dogs and again I am I am happy I've just I've just finished eating so generally when I finish eating I'm full and I don't sound as enthusiastic as I normally are but we're going to get our usual pair of scissors which actually I get from my dad's box because I don't come prepared and I don't bring my own down and you're probably all wondering how are you getting this much stuff well with my own job I've basically been spending all my money on shike sets but this won't continue on because one I'm only getting the sets that I really want which honestly that there is a few, quite a few but also i'm gonna run out of sets to buy the shrike doesn't have an unlimited amount so we put the foot there so we can open this and we're going to drop it now i have got an idea for the dog's name let's have a look inside we should be able to just a very 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 simple construction this won't be a massively long video oh that's cute. No, she kind of doesn't look like she's enjoying the collar. Help me. No. No, I am excited and I've just dropped something out my bag. Okay, we'll do, do a bit of building. That's all right. Okay, maybe a bit more. Oh, in my day when I started collecting like you didn't have to build this much. No, I'm just a, What are you doing in the dog's kennel? She is a... A bit too enthusiastic about that kennel. You're going to go over here. We'll unwrap you later, but we've got to take care of the dog kennel. Look at that, that's a nice size. And I think I'm actually going to put it next to a chicken coop. Just going to open this up. Oh, my camera's focusing. That's okay. Oh, and something random I want to talk about. So here is the shell of Z Dog's house dog kennel okay it's got no bottom that's okay well obviously not no it doesn't come with a bottom that's all right so dog's gonna have quite a soft place to sit we've got our lovely dog here oh no it sounds stupid but i just want to make sure this is a girl because i have come up with a name but i just want to make sure that i don't give a dude a quite girly name or you might say it doesn't matter now this is the equipment or this is the set you get and that's quite nice that size i've got a dog bowl i have got this dog bowl already but it's always handy to have more because i've got about 15 dogs at the very least all right let's put the window in because our first task is to put the window in we're going to rest it against the dog kennel so you can just have a better look rather than at my carpet Ugh, right it should be simple should be working small scale here ah uh, i do love the box it's very compact very easy right i might have to go in the awkward view now aka the view i really shouldn't have my videos at because it makes them them look cheap ah no no got it got it okay see knew it was simple now we've just got to take the side bit out Let's just make sure we've got the right way round. Yep. This will be our storage unit for the dog's equipment. And I am going to be an idiot and think, how the fudge does this go on? This probably needs two hands as well. Oh, no, no. Hold up. Let's just put this down so I can have my two hands. I think we can actually get a good view this time. Good view this time. Maybe not. I think I got it on there nearly. All right, this clicks nicely. I know last time I had a bit of a pain clicking the things as it were. So then we're gonna put our little, we're gonna put our 
a little metal piece to secure the lead on if you can see right by the bulb let's unwrap that because that's an essential part now i'm just curious now i like this lead because it looks long it doesn't look like the dog's going to be uh, limited in any way and i've just noticed there's a bone in here as well okay we've got two bones that's good the dogs can scrubble over two bones instead of one and then I just need to get 20 other bones for everyone else. And then probably get some for any other creature. Get one for my hyena, Lull, and all that. And yes, I've got a hyena called Lull because they always sound like they're laughing. And there's a character actually in Tracy Beaker called Lull that I used to watch as a kid. So that's where I got the name. It's a cute little story. Okay, we've got the thingy there. And then we're going to clip it on the end here. And that is a nice view. That is a nice view. Oh, no. Got to go slightly higher just so I can get the right angle in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Please don't mess up. Please, one end's gone in, but the other has just ripped you. And now we've both gone. No, nope, that's okay. Okay, we've got it. So, we've got our end bit here, which, thank goodness, we can pop the bowl in. We'll just about go in, put the bone in, we can say goodbye. We, we, we want to get you out of the way, so we can do that. Next bit is the roof. We'll unwrap the roofy. Roofy, roof, roof. We can unwrap the roof. La la la. And I always keep the booklets. It may sound stupid, but just in case it breaks and for whatever reason I can't figure out how to fix it. This this is I definitely keep the booklets more for the more for the bigger sets. Oh, does this just go on or does it click on? I think this just goes on and that's it. So, this is our dog kennel. And that's a, a lovely bit of room for a dog. I think I should be able to fit my older dogs in there, the bigger ones. So, we're going to unwrap the dog and this dog is going to be named Betsy. You guys probably don't know why, but my... Oh gosh, I hate mentioning it. No, I love mentioning it. Um, my boyfriend's dog, he has a dog called Betsy. And I went out for a meal with him today. And I really like to name creatures after my experience or how I got them. So we'll just pop that on you, darling. And we're going to show the lovely viewers your collar and lead. You are fabulous, Betsy. Now, unfortunately, Betsy, your owner thinks you've been a very bad dog. Don't bite me, Betsy. That should be a phrase, don't bite me, Betsy. That reminds me, does that just slip on? Because that can't just slip on. I'm overthinking things. Ah, don't fall. Ah, I see. So you just squeeze this end of the collar. I'm so sorry, Betsy. Your owner thinks you've been a bad dog and you can't be let out of all the others. You're going on a dog timeout. Long story short. Oh my gosh, I broke the thing. Oh dear. Betsy, this this kennel is this kennel is bad. This, this kennel's breaking, but the viewers can't see, so we're okay. You can probably hear. Betsy. Betsy, get away from there. This is too dangerous now. I don't want you getting hurt. Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that took much longer than expected. So she's been a bad girl. And bad girls, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Your, that, those eyes, those eyes. I think they're crazy dog eyes. I, actually, is there enough room? Um, kind of. I'd say it's more of a short-term one rather than a long-term tie-up for a dog. Ah, oh, look at that lovely. If we could just have that as a thumbnail, that would be brilliant. YouTube. So let's get her owner out. And we, what should we call the owner? I have been posting on social media asking for ideas for names. I did have one suggestion for the stag from an actual friend from mine. So the stag is now called Forest. We have a mountain goat named. Oh, why do I always get this wrong? I'm going to... Ah, mm, oh, gosh. Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, it was... I, I can never remember these at the right time. Dumbledore, oh, finally, this is just so embarrassing. So we've got a girl, she's got one opposable arm. Oh my gosh. 
We've got one opposable arm. Woo! So, any name suggestions for her would be appreciated. She's, she's, yeah, I think she was about t eight, seven, eight. Let's see how she compares to the dog in terms of scale. So, I would say this dog is a collie. So, yeah, I would say the proportions are quite nice. So, let's take this awful lead off of you. I'm joking, it's a lovely lead. It honestly is. There we are. And look at that. <laughs> We're going to go in your kennel because you need a bit of a rest. It's been a tough day for you in that stuffy box. So you just need a rest. So why don't you just go in your kennel and then you can pose for the viewers like a model. Oh yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This video probably won't get uploaded till Monday due to Wi-Fi problems. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This unboxing and if she will stay up we will all say goodbye